Hello. Hello, Eric. Let me just see. How are you today? Did you have a nice uh, day yesterday? What did you do? Do you have homework? Hi, Andrea, welcome. So let's see who we have for the moment. I see Eric and Andrea. I don't know if we have other people coming online. Let's wait a few seconds. Hi. Hi, Gaia. Hi, Danieri, welcome. How are you today? Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Sandra, welcome. Hi, William. So today we have a lesson called arranging to go out. What does arranging mean? What does it mean, arranging to go out? Any ideas? What could it mean? <laughs> For example, now I know it's a bit difficult, but we could arrange to go out after the coronavirus crisis is over. We could decide where to go, what to do. If you look at um, what the lesson is about, deciding what to do, deciding where and when to meet, discussing your availability. Hi, Matteo, welcome. What does it mean, discussing your availability? Yes, yes, Ranieri. We, arranging to go out is like organizing to go out, yeah, deciding when to go, where to go. Like, are we going by car? Are we going on foot? All these things, yes, are to arrange, yeah? We can do it over the phone. We can do it on WhatsApp. Hmm? Hi, Monica. So all these things are what is impossible to do at the moment. <laughs> this lesson is perfect because no one at the moment can arrange to go out. It's very difficult. <laughs> and there's nowhere to go. All the places are closed. But we can get organized for after the crisis and decide what we want to do. What's the first thing we want to do after the crisis? So we're going to discuss our availability. For example, you can... Now it's difficult to arrange to go out, but I don't know if you do this with your friends, but sometimes with my friends, we arrange uh, to meet on Zoom or on um, Skype. So we have a call where we, with a video call, where we can talk together and see each other. So we decide a time and a day and then we organize a meeting. Hmm? Do you do this with your friends? Do you arrange meetings or video phone calls with your friends? Yeah, it's very difficult at the moment to go out. <laughs> it's true, Danieri. But do you see friends and family on the phone? And do you decide in advance at what time you will have the phone call? Or do you just take the phone and call? For example, if there, if there are many people, it's difficult to organize to call everyone at the same time. So maybe you have to decide before the time. So let's meet on Tuesday at 5. 
<laughs> you don't think we need this lesson now, Gaia? <laughs> but we have to dream. We have to dream about uh, the future and the good things we can do in the future, Gaia. So Ranieri says that he meets with his friends on Skype. Mm, me too. Sometimes I meet or with students or with friends. Also, I don't know if you know Zoom. It's another program that I use where we can have a chat all together. There's also another program called Google Hangouts. These are all different options where you can spend time with your friends virtually. Hi, Lucia. Good morning. Okay. So when we talk about availabilities, like if you're free or not free, we can also talk about alternatives. For example, if you don't like your friend's plan, you can suggest a different plan. So for example, um, let's meet uh, for lunch. Say, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm busy at lunch. We can meet for dinner. This is an alternative, okay? So let's see. So when you have to imagine what happened in the past and maybe what will happen in the future, because at the moment it's difficult to go out. But where do you, where do you go out usually? Where did you go out in the past? <laughs> Ah, Monica says she would like to go outdoors. I completely agree. For me, the most difficult part of not going out, it's not going to the restaurant or going to the cafe. It's just going outside. It doesn't matter where, but I like, I, I feel like it's a, hi, Leo, welcome. I feel like it's difficult not to go out. Mm. So... Where, we can say, where would you like to go? Where would you like to go? If you could go anywhere now, where would you like to go? I think, it was it William that said he would like to go to the mountains? Someone said to the mountains. Um, who was it? Ah, no, it's Monica. Monica said she would like to go to the mountains. Where would you like to go? If you could go anywhere now, where would you like to go? Where is the first place you would like to go? Uh, I'm not sure actually where I would like to go. My The first place I would like to go. Hmm. Maybe for a walk outside of my house. <laughs> The first place Leo wants to go is his bed. <laughs> no problem, Leo. This is easy. You can do it. No problem. Your dream can become true. You understand? Uh, Monica would like to go shopping with her friends. Nice. What about you, William? Lucia, where would you like to go? Gaia, Ranieri? Eric, where would you like to go? Andrea, ah, I'd like to go to the park for a very long stroll. A stroll is a walk, yeah, very nice. Mm. Yeah, I'd like to go to the park or maybe to the, to the forest. Yeah, it's impossible now to go shopping or to go to the park. <laughs> but we have to think about nice things that are going to happen when we are, when the situation is finished. Um, maybe I would like to go for coffee with friends. That would be nice. Or even to my friend's house. But I think I miss the people, seeing the people. Ah, Sandra would like to go running on the, tr on trails. Trail running, do you understand, guys? Trail running is when you run in nature, like on a small path, a small road, but in nature with no cars and that sounds very nice. Maybe not running, but I'd like to go for a walk in nature. Lucia would like to go out with her friends. Mm, I understand, me too. What else would you guys like to do? 
Ah, and Agnelli would like to go with, out with his friends to listen to music. Maybe a concert, Agnelli, or just to listen to music together. Mm, I would like to... Maybe be able to go to the supermarket without stressing out or uh, walk around the center of town. Maybe go for an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's, we have to talk. Usually in this lesson, we can do this lesson in the present. No problem. Hi, Elena. But because of our very strange situation, so Leo says that now, oops, sorry, oops. Now he stays at home and he plays the Nintendo Switch with his mom and dad. This is the current situation for Leo. I think many people are in Leo's situation, just spending time inside. And William would like to go to the park with his family. That would be nice, definitely, William. Um, so... Normally, as I said, normally we do this, this part of the lesson in the present, talking about what we do usually. But because our usual situation is so strange and so different, maybe today we have to speak in the past. So the past is very similar to the present. Where did you go? Where did you go before the lockdown? The next question, with who? Who did you go out with? Hmm? When? When did you go out? Hmm? So let me show you an example. And then all the questions are the same. Where did you go out? I know, Monica, the situation is hard. I think it's hard for many, many people. Yeah. I think it's difficult, especially because the situation is has lasted for a long time. It's been more than a month. And I think for some people, it's hard to stay inside. Yeah. We have to try and think of the good things in the situation to be positive. But I know that some days it's difficult. So Monica gives us an example. She says, in the past, I went out with my friend, Madi. Exactly. I went out is the past of go out. So this is a good answer for who did you go out with? Who? did you go out with? Hmm? Can you tell me before the lockdown, who did you go out with? I didn't say hello to you, Leo. I did, didn't I? If I didn't, I'm very sorry. Welcome to the lesson, Leo. <laughs> Hi, Gianluca, welcome. How are you today? So we're talking about, uh, okay, we're talking about the past, where, where we went out, when we went out. Uh, Andrea gave us an example. I used to go out for pizza with my friends once a week. Mm -hmm. Monica says, I went shopping with my husband. So these are all examples of the things we did before, when we went out before. Where did you go out? Oh, you're at work? Good, Januka. It's difficult to stay home. Maybe if you're at work, the time passes better. So where did you go out, guys, before the lockdown? How often did you go out? How often 
Did you go out? So I went out, obviously. Um, I went out, I didn't go out very often before the lockdown. I sometimes went out for coffee with friends, but in the evening, I didn't go out often because I have a family and small children, so it's difficult for me to go out. Maybe sometimes at the weekend. Sometimes I went out with my husband uh, for dinner and the children would stay with the grandparents. I miss that, <laughs> to go out for pizza with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so William says that he went out once a week mm -hmm. <clears throat> and Lucia went to the cinema or to the restaurant at the weekend Monica says that she went out twice a week twice a week Monica What about you, Gianluca? I, I imagine you went out a lot before. Danieli? Uh, you went out in your free time. I often went out when I had free time, Danieli. I often went out. Yeah, actually, for me, it's quite normal to stay at home. My life was not very exciting. So to stay at home is very normal. <laughs> but it's different when you have the choice and when you don't have the choice. Monica went out every Saturday for pizza. Leo... You stay at home now or before? Because you don't have anything to do. You stayed at home before or you stay at home now, Leo? To be honest, I'm quite lazy, lazy pigra. So when I think, oh, I have to get changed and you know, I have to take my car and I have to meet with someone maybe in the center, I think, oh no, I'm tired. I want to stay home and watch an episode of Netflix. <laughs> okay, so Gianluca says, in this period, I don't go out with my friends. Yeah, I go to work by bike. And on Saturday and Sunday, I'm at home with my girlfriend. So this is a very quiet period, very for. Gianluca, because I think Gianluca went out a lot before to the gym, to play football with his friends, <laughs> for dinner or to the cinema with his girlfriend, and now work and home. <laughs> okay. So why did you go out? Monica went out for the pizza. <laughs> because she loves pizza. Why else did you go out? Maybe Danieli to go to a concert or to listen to music? Okay. Let's continue. Here we have some options of places where we can go. I don't know if you can see the pictures, they're very small. But picture A, what is picture A? Can you understand? Uh, Leo, you will have a girlfriend soon. 
don't worry. <laughs> but yes, it's true. Having a girlfriend makes the time go faster. <laughs> so picture A is a museum. Hi, Valentina. Welcome. So picture A is a museum. Picture B, what is picture B? These are all places where we cannot go now. The stadium, well done. Picture C, what is picture C? Picture C. Yes, a shopping center like Gili, Parco Prato. These are shopping centers. Well done, guys. Then ah, we have a little, and that says that before the lockdown, I usually had breakfast with my friend Elisabetta on Saturday morning. Nice. Elena, do you have a virtual breakfast? I know that some people are meeting online and having breakfast, lunch, or dinner with friends, but with the com in front of the computer. I think this is a bit strange, but uh, why not? <laughs> so yes, C is a shopping center. Hi, Daniele, welcome to the lesson. D is a bar. It looks a bit like a pub. Definitely a bar. E is what? What is E? E is a cinema. Yes. With no film. So it's before or after the film. And F, as William said, F is a restaurant. So let's put all the answers. Museum, the stadium, a shopping center, a bar, the cinema, and a restaurant. Do you, why is it the stadium, the cinema, and a museum, a shopping center, a bar, and a restaurant. Why do we have a, 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 and a, and the, and the for stadium and cinema? Why? Do you understand why? They could say the museum, but they say a museum. They, say, they don't say a stadium, they say the stadium. Why? So remember, the is for a specific place. It's usually one place that everybody understands. It's the one and only place, probably in a city, there is only one stadium, um, but in a city there can be many museums, many different museums. So we can go to a museum. I am not saying a specific museum. I'm saying in general, a shopping center is one option. Maybe there are two, three shopping centers. Um, but the stadium is only one. So we go to the stadium. We know the stadium. We know which one. There's only one. Hmm? Maybe in this town, there's only one cinema. So let's go to the cinema. If you say, let's go to a cinema, it doesn't matter which cinema. It could be many different cinemas. Yeah. Um, so it's not singular and plural. It's uh, like an Italian un museo e il museo that is the difference yeah exactly elena elena says the same thing i say that there is one stadium in the town in prato i think there is only one stadium but it's true that in prato there are 
two, three, four cinemas. There's a cinema in Parco Prato. There's one uh, in, um, in the center. I don't know. There are a few maybe in the center of Prato. But usually we say, let's go to the cinema. Hmm? Not let's go to a cinema. Hmm? But let's go to a restaurant because there are many, many options for different restaurants. Okay? Let us continue. So when we want to recommend a place, we have different expressions that we can use. Yes, exactly, Gianluca, very good. A is generic, the is specific. Leo says there's no stadium in Prato. I think there must be a stadium. Isn't there a stadium in Prato? I don't know where it is, but I think because there's a football team in Prato. I don't know. I'm sorry, Leo. I'm not sure where it is. I think there is one. So when we want to recommend something, we can say, shall we go to... Or let's go to, hmm? let's go to the cinema. Shall we go to a restaurant? Hmm? So if we want to suggest a place, we can say, shall we go to, and then don't forget the article a or the is very important. Eh? Shall we go to a restaurant? Let's go to a bar. Hmm? Let's go to the cinema, etc., etc. But, ah, I knew Gianluca would know. The stadium of the Prato team is near the central station. Okay, so if you're interested, Leo, when you can get out of your house, you can go see where the stadium is. Hmm? Then, if we want to suggest an activity, we can say, shall we go shopping? Let's play football. Let's have dinner. Let's watch a film, okay? Yes, you're right, Leo. There's a stadium in Florence. And there's also, I think, maybe a smaller stadium in, uh, in Prato. Also, I think Pistoia has a stadium. Even Quarata, imagine, even Quarata has a stadium. In Italy, the stadium is the most important place. <laughs> People love a stadium because they love football in Italy. <laughs> okay, so shall we go is a suggestion, an offer. Let's go is more of an imperative, as Monica says, but it's still a suggestion. It's informal. When we say let's go, it's maybe if you're speaking with your boss or with someone that's older, maybe you should say, shall we go? It's more formal. Più uh, formale. Let's go is more direct. Come on, let's go to the cinema. Hmm? Here is how we can answer. Hmm? We can say, if we are happy about the idea, if we like the idea, we can say, <laughs> you don't like football, Leo? I'm not a big fan of football either. I don't follow football. <laughs> So if you agree, if you like the idea of your friend, you can say, that sounds great, or good plan, or sure, or I would love to. But maybe you don't like the idea. And you can say, I'd rather not. What does it mean, I'd rather not? Yes, Daniele, you can say, shall we go sh to the shopping center? And you say, oh, yeah, good plan. Or that's great. Or I would love to go. <laughs> William likes football. I think in, in this group, they're football fans. 
And there are people like uh, Leo and me that is like, mm, football, eh. <laughs> so I'd rather not. No, no, Gianluca. Uh, shall we go to is if we want to go to a place. Let's go is not for the answer, is also to suggest a place. But shall we go is more formal and let's go is more informal. Yeah, that sounds great or good plan. This is the answer when you're happy with the idea. So I'd rather not, guys. What does it mean, I'd rather not? It's, I would prefer not. Mm? I don't really like the idea. So for example, if William asks Leo, hey Leo, uh, shall we go to the stadium or shall we watch a football match? Then maybe Leo could say, uh, I'd rather not. Then Leo can offer something different, can say, um, William, Let's go to the swimming pool. And then William can say, ah, oh, the swimming pool? Mm, uh, okay, let's go to the swimming pool. So usually we don't just say no. It's not very polite to say no. <laughs> we should say I would prefer to do something else or let's do something instead. Instead is al posto di, no? So let's go fishing instead. I prefer to go fishing. Fishing? I never, I have never been fishing in my life. But for example, I prefer to do another thing, something different. So if the first person suggests something, the second person should say yes or no. If they say no, they should suggest a new activity. So you can do this face to face, you can do this on the phone, or you can even do this with a message. So if your friend says, ah, uh, uh, shall we play Call of Duty online? Uh, no, I would prefer to chat. <laughs> Leo, you should organize a sleeping competition. The person that can sleep the most hours. <laughs> uh, I would love to sleep more, but I don't have time to sleep. I have too many things to do. <laughs> okay? Any questions, guys? Do you understand? I'd rather not is like preferire di no. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, maybe that's like this. I, I'd prefer to plus the activity. I'd prefer to go to the cinema. I'd prefer to eat um, sushi. Mm -hmm. Let's eat sushi instead, or let's go to the restaurant instead. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. So when we agree, let's say that we agree to go to the stadium, we have to then be more specific. When shall we meet? Hmm? Sorry, we can meet at five. We can meet before the match. We can meet um, at your house to watch the film. No, sorry, to watch the match on TV. Hmm? So we have to decide when and where to meet. Shall we meet at my house? And then we go together to the stadium. Or shall we meet directly?
Sorry, guys. I, there was a technical problem and everything disappeared. I am trying to reconnect. Sorry. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Everything okay? Is everyone here? Can everyone hear me? No problem? Okay, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened, but suddenly everything disappeared. <laughs> okay, so let's continue with the lesson. No problem. I think there are many, many people connected to the internet and also to this program. And so I think sometimes the program cannot manage with all the people. So let's continue. It's very important to decide when and where. So when shall we meet? Let's meet tomorrow at half past eight at the restaurant. At, we use at for the time and we can also use at for the location. Let's meet at the restaurant. Let's meet at my house. Let's meet at the stadium. Hmm? Are you free tomorrow afternoon at three? Yes, I'm free tomorrow. Let's meet at the park. Hmm? So we can ask for a specific time. Are you free tomorrow at nine? Are you free tomorrow? Okay, maybe at 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. We can be more specific. Yes, Leo, I know everything went black because my screen froze, yeah? Everything was blocked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so if I say, for example, guys, let's meet tomorrow at 4 for a focus. Let's meet at 4. Hmm? But I say usually let's meet on YouTube. I don't say let's meet at YouTube. Why not? Why don't I say let's meet at YouTube? I say let's meet on YouTube. Do you know why? YouTube is not a real place. It's not a physical place. So I can't say let's meet at YouTube or let's meet at Facebook. We meet online on an internet program. So on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. Yeah. For these places online, we say on. Okay. Let's continue. So then sometimes we have a problem. So we can say, oh no, I'm not free at three. This is very difficult. I'm not free at three. So the first free, it's behind the teeth, free. And then we have the second, the number three. This is a tongue twister. I'm not free at three. It's very difficult to say. If you want to practice at home, you can say, no, I'm not free at three. <laughs> Let's meet at five instead. Hmm? No, I'm not free Thursday. Also, this is difficult because we have free and then we have Thursday. Thursday. Let's meet Friday instead. Yeah, so there we can change the time or we can even change the location. So I can say, no, let's not meet at my house. Let's meet directly at the stadium. Or if everything is fine, then we can say, that sounds great. Good plan. Or sure, 
see you tomorrow. We can even repeat, yes, sure, see you tomorrow at three at the restaurant. Yeah? So that we confirm the time and the place. Any problems? No? Everything fine? So let's do a bit of review. Remember when we talk about a location, we use shall we go to let's go to plus the place hmm? and to say yes we can say that sounds great good plan sure no problem perfect hmm? then we have the negative option i'd rather not i'd prefer to do something else or I prefer to go somewhere else. And let's do something instead. So you change the activity. Then we can say, be more specific about the time. Are you free tomorrow afternoon at three? So this, this could also be the first question. I can say, oh, uh, Leo, are you free tomorrow at four? And you can say yes. And I say, ah, shall we meet online? Yeah. So I can first ask the time when he is free and then offer to do something. Or I can offer to do something and then see at what time it's better for him. So positive answer, yes, I'm free tomorrow. Let's meet at the park. Or no, I'm not free Thursday. Let's meet Friday instead. Hmm? So are you ready? Shall we try? Can you ask me uh, about this week? You can ask me if I'm free or not. So I have to check because I have lessons online. So maybe I'm not free to meet with you. Uh, so tell me and I will tell you if I can or not. And then maybe you can suggest something to do. For example, what can we do online together? We can chat. We can... Um, we can listen to music online, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if the, qu the sound quality is very good. We can send each other some links and some videos. We can um, drink coffee together or eat food together. We can play video games online. We can play other interactive games. Aha, you see, Elena gave me an example. She said, oh, sorry. She said, shall we have a virtual breakfast on WhatsApp tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.? For example, <laughs> have you tried? I haven't tried to do a virtual breakfast with my friends. I've done kind of like an aperitivo with a drink, but I haven't done the virtual breakfast. Daniele gives me another option. Um, are, you, uh, are you doing a lesson online tomorrow at 4 p.m.? Good question. Let me check, Daniele. <laughs> Where is my schedule? Uh, oh, no, my schedule has disappeared. I don't remember. All the days feel exactly the same. So sometimes I don't remember what day it is, what lesson I have. Life is difficult. So, no, uh, no. 
I don't have a lesson tomorrow at four. But we could meet, maybe I do have a lesson. Let me see. I have a lesson on Friday at four. If you're interested, Daniele, shall we meet on Friday at four for a focus four five? That could be another option, no? Would you be interested, Daniele? Shall we meet at four on Friday for a focus four five? <laughs> this morning I ate. So, Leo, the past of eat is eight. This morning I ate eggs and toast. <laughs> is that your message, Leo? This morning I ate crepes. Very nice. I had crepes, and, okay, with peanut butter. You understand peanut butter? Peanut butter cho and chocolate. It was very good. Melted chocolate egg and peanut butter. Uh, Daniele, tomorrow, what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday. I have a lesson on Friday. Oh, yes, this would be very nice. Daniela says, shall we go to the English school in May? Uh, that would be a great idea. I would love to see you in the English school in May. But I don't know if it's possible, Daniele. No, you can't drink, drink drink milk in the morning. Usually I don't drink milk either. I drink coffee. Okay, so let me change the screen and I will show you some options for the things that we can do. And you can tell me if you're interested or not. <laughs> uh, so one second, let me just change the screen. Where is it? Mm -hmm. I hope this is the correct one. Okay, can you see? Here we have different options. So I will suggest an activity and you can tell me if you like this activity or not. So there is a free concert at the park Saturday afternoon and you want to go with your friend. So this is what I want to do. The concert starts at half past three in the afternoon. You would like to have lunch before the concert. Ask your friend if he or she is available to go. So you have to ask me, like imagine I'm your friend, <laughs> and ask me if I want first, if I want to go to the concert, then you have to decide when to meet and where to meet. Oh, Monica says in September that we, she will go back to school in September. I hope we can meet before, but I have no idea. The situation is very complicated. And I don't really understand because the government says, uh, yes, until May, and then they add another 10 days and then more days and then more days. Uh, we don't know. But we will stay in touch virtually. We will continue to see our students and be there for our students, whatever happens, okay? But we have to be, to be, um, to, to think of the best options, like the, the best possible results. I know that this is a big sacrifice, but it's better to be safe. Yeah, you understand? It's better to be safe. Okay, guys, so you have to ask me if I want to go to a concert. Come on, how do you ask if the person is interested? What's the question?
Okay. So Mateo says, shall you, if you say shall you, it sounds like you're not inviting me. Maybe it's better if you say shall we, Mateo. Shall we go together? Shall we go, uh, shall we go out for lunch before the concert? Then Daniele says, shall we go to the concert next Saturday? Next, yeah. Anna says, shall we go at the park Saturday afternoon? There's a free concert. Then Daniele says, Shanti, shall you? Um, shall you is not possible, guys. I didn't say this. But shall only goes with I and with we. Shall I or shall we? But never shall you. I'm sorry. You have to remember, shall we dance? There was a film called Shall Dance. Because it's a suggestion, an offer, and it's an offer that I can do something for you. Shall I help you? Shall I repeat? Yeah. Or shall we do something together? But shall you? Nope. Shall they? Not possible. Only I and we. But this is a normal mistake, and it's no problem. <laughs> so shall we go to the concert at the park on Saturday afternoon at 3? Why not? So we have another option. Gianluca says, are you free Saturday afternoon? There is a free concert. Then Gianluca, you have to say, shall we go together? Because we go together is not a good question. Shall we go together? With pleasure. I would love to go. Oh, wait. What kind of music? Is it techno music? <laughs> is it heavy metal music? Mm. What kind of music is it? Because I love the idea of the park. I am not sure if the music is good or bad. But let's imagine that I'm happy with the music, that I love the band or the artist. So that sounds great. When shall we go? Or I can say, at what time is the concert? So you say, some people have said, the concert is at half past three. Oh, Ranieri says it's rock music. So no problem. I'm very happy to go. <laughs> so I would love to come. <laughs> and then, so the concert starts at half past three. What time do you want to meet? What time shall we meet at the park? Or shall we meet at my house or at your house? You have to make some more suggestions. Lucia, your kind of music is pop music. I like some pop music. It depends on the pop music. <laughs> Okay, Elena says, we could have lunch together before the concert. It starts at half past 3 p.m. It's a pop music one, pop music concert. Okay, so good idea. We could have, we could have a sandwich before the concert or we could eat something near the concert, near the park. If it's a nice day, we could bring a picnic to the park. What shall we do? And where shall we meet? At what time? No ideas. Shall we meet directly at the park? 
or shall we meet at a restaurant or a cafe? Shall we eat? Where shall we eat? What should we eat? <laughs> so there are many questions, many options. Ranieri says, let's meet before at the park. Okay, so we can meet directly at the park. Maybe we could bring something for a picnic. Or we can buy something before we enter the park. I don't know if in the park there is a place to buy something to eat. Or maybe sometimes when there's a concert, there are some food stalls. What is a food stall? You understand a food stall? It's a place where you can buy different food sandwiches, porqueta, or <laughs> usually when there's a concert, there may be some food stalls there where you can buy, I don't know, French fries. Okay. So if we look, ah, let's meet at the Luna Park. Oh. At the Luna Park, I think there are also some food stalls. Danieri agrees, let's have a picnic. If the weather is nice for lunch, I would love to have a picnic. But then we have to put uh, the things, I don't know, back in the car or... Daniela says, shall we eat a sandwich before the concert and drink a beer? It sounds perfect, Daniele. We don't need anything else, just a beer and a sandwich. <laughs> okay. Maybe not Eric, maybe no beer for Eric. <laughs> Some students are too young for beer. But the ones that can drink a beer can drink a beer. <laughs> No, no, Monica, food stall is not cheap. Ah, yes, yes. Usually at food stalls, they sell junk food. It's very possible. Uh, if you want something healthy to eat, a food stall is not usually a good idea, especially at a concert where they usually sell junk food, like burgers, fries. Things that you can eat with your hands easily. So if we look at the second option, we have, you want to go to the cinema to watch a film in English. This is a very good idea, by the way, guys. If you have time to watch films in English or TV series, you can watch them with Italian subtitles. This is a great opportunity, guys, now to watch things in English, to listen more to English. The film starts at nine. You would also like to go out after the movie with your friend, plan what time to meet, where to meet, and what to do after the movie. Okay, Matteo has already answered. Well done. Guys, he says. So he invites everyone. Let's go to the cinema at half past eight to watch that film. I don't know the film, but let's meet in the parking lot 10 minutes before at 8.20. After the movie, let's go for a beer. Let's go take a beer. Matteo, no, let's go for a beer. Or let's drink a beer. Hmm? Anna says, what about going to the cinema to watch a film in English? Great idea, Elena. Leo says, at my house in the quartiere, in the neighborhood, at five, they play Cinquina. Cinquina is cards. <laughs> then he says, uh-oh, without Italian subtitles? Uh... <laughs> Very important, we need, uh, I think we still need some subtitles, at least English or Italian. Hi, Giuliano, welcome. Some subtitles would be good. <laughs> you know, once I went to the cinema with some students 
and the film was in English and there were no subtitles. And all my students were like, oh, this is impossible. So we were watching the film and I was translating during the film to explain the story. It was so difficult. I was very tired after the film. <laughs> okay, guys, this is it for today. You have another focus. As I said, I think you have one with me on Friday at four. And I don't know if you have another option. Let's see. Tomorrow you have a focus two, three. So it's a bit less the level, a lower level. And on Friday at four, you have a focus four, five. This is Soren behind me. Say hello, Soren. Hello. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye-bye. See you soon.